good with y'all, man? So listen, hey man, heavy topic. We got a heavy topic right here. If she does this, if she says this, guess what? You're going to have to toss her to the side of the road eventually. Guys, eventually this is going to happen. I'm trying to save y'all some time, effort, etc., money, everything. Right, and I know this is going to get some panties in a wad. This is going to get your boxers bunched up. Some of y'all might just be tight balled after this video because come to find out, you should have been tossed a girl, but you stayed with her. So, with that said, hey, y'all follow me on IG. Check the link in the description. Man, we're going to hop into this. We're going to save some lives. So, y'all check out the whole vid, all right? So, let's kick this off, guys. Let's kick it off the right way. The number one group of chicks... Y'all need to be concerned with the task of tossing to the side of the road. And this is why I'm making this video, right? This is why I'm making this video. Because, guys, there, some of y'all want to have your fun, right? Some of y'all want to have your fun. Everybody wants to have fun, right? It's just the fact that it's easier for women to have their fun and get what they want as to us guys. So, guys, this is how you're going to win. This is how you're going to get your fun with as least risk as possible dealing with, you know, maybe a crazy chick or maybe a chick that is mostly, you know, most likely attractive, but she has some crazy factors and you, you know, this is to prevent you from essentially getting too involved with her and then later down the line it being a harder decision or you might, you know, worst case scenario, you might get in some trouble, bro. And you should have been tossed her to the side of the road, right? You should have been hit the curb with her. The number one group of chicks, guys, is going to be some basic chicks. All right, MJ, how do I identify basic chicks? Now, there are signs that we all know, you know, basic chicks. Okay, well, you must have a boat. You must, you know, blah, blah, blah. You got to do this and you got to smoke. If you don't smoke, if you're not down with 420, then I can't be with you. Those types of girls, have your fun with them. And then guess what? You wipe your hands. You got to wipe your hands, fellas. Some of y'all are just struggling with wiping your hands. I'm going to tell you the number one, the, the number one basic, <laughs> peep this, the number one basic that I've experienced just most recently. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like the last few, probably the last five chicks, right? The, the, the most basic thing. Guys, this Zodiac sign stuff. If a girl comes up to you, and your first conversation point, the first thing she says to you, like, y'all, y'all, you know, you have attraction for each other. Y'all step up and maybe words are spoken. If she jumps right into what's your sign, right? What's your sign? Girl, you better ask where I stay. All right. You better ask if we close, you know what I'm saying? I'm local, you local, we close to meet up, this and that. The logistics. I want to hear that. Don't ask me about my sign. All right. If a girl asks you your sign, your zodiac sign. She is basic. And guess what? Most likely, you're going to have to toss her to the streets. But still have your fun because these chicks do be fun. They be out there. These be the new world chicks that own some other energy, blah, blah, blah. They be on that crazy stuff, right? Now, you can feel energy, guys, and you can feel the connection to people and, you know, be on the same frequency and all this stuff. But when we go into all this you know what I'm saying? She starts hitting you. Oh, well, our signs are compatible because of this. And that means our Jupiter moon is going to crescent on the same blah, blah. Like, I don't want to hear none of that stuff. Right? I don't want to hear none of that stuff. So that means that, you know, next week after we hook up, that means I'm going to make you eggs with toast on the left side of the plate. Like, I don't want to hear that. Guys, they are basic. They are basic because all these girls is on the same kind of stuff. They all on this stuff. They play with crystals like it's Lego blocks. Right. We're not dealing with that, guys. You have your fun with these chicks and you got to toss them like they are literally to be tossed. Any girl that comes up to you with this Zodiac energy. Oh, you got to be the same sign as me or we can't be compatible. How about you get to know the damn person? Like, like what is up with this stuff, guys? So that's the number one. That I've been I've been hearing that so much and I've just been enjoying my time. I've been keeping my mouth shut, letting them talk. Oh, well, your sign is this. So blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. You keep rambling on, right? I'm just concerned with me getting what I want. And guys, women, you can't be mad at me trying to help guys get what they want. Y'all be getting what y'all want for forever. So it's time for some guys to win. Some of y'all really need to look out for these people, I'm telling you, because you don't know what they be on. You don't want to string, you don't want to string nothing long with the, nothing too long, no long term with these kind of people. You don't know what they on. I'm telling you, you don't know what they on. 
Now, to continue with this, guys, any person like like the basic chicks, guys, the basic chicks are for the streets because they will claim they're not like like a girl comes up, and tells you like, you know, some some bull like that. You know, this is the same kind of chick that just if you don't listen to, to depressing music all day, we can't vibe. Like, come on now, the women that listen to depressing ass, people that listen to depressing ass music, like that's the energy that you are getting, you're receiving, right? These be the same girls that listen to Ride Wave all day and just she a runner, she a track. If you a track star, you a runner, those aren't the type of chicks you want to be around, guys. Some of y'all is really getting caught up with the wrong women. Do not stay involved with these girls for too long. I'm telling you, I'm saving y'all. I'm saving y'all lives right here, straight up. Straight up, right? I like Juice World and everything, but if you listen to nothing but sad music all day, how do you think that person is on the inside? They can look good, have a little fatty on them. And listen, fellas, y'all do what y'all want to do at the end of the day. Y'all know I say that, but I'm going to tell you something, right? You can either choose to not deal with her at all if you want to, but for the guys that want to enjoy their time, have their fun, because you're going to be disqualifying a lot of chicks. Now you can use that to your advantage by knowing when to toss them to the side of the road or send them back to the streets. Like, okay, baby, well, we enjoyed our time, right? It was good. It was very, you know, it was it was very enjoyable experience for the both of us, equal exchange. But it's time for you to go. All right, back to the streets you go. All right, and that's cool. That's cool. A lot of y'all got a problem with treating women the way that they, you know what I'm saying, portray themselves. But I'm telling you, it's cool to do that. This next type of chick is important for you guys to spot out too, all right? The alpha female. Some of y'all is getting caught up in like some of these girls is like, oh, I'm red pill too. And some of these girls is like, I'm a red, uh, I'm an alpha woman or something like that. That's a bunch of garbage guys. It's a bunch of garbage guys straight up. I'm going to tell you like that because it's a dream that she's trying to sell you. For real. She's trying to sell you a dream. Guys, she's going to end up trying to strip you of your masculinity, right? Being in an argumentative position of power, trying to take your power from you of masculinity. Why are we sitting here trying to fight masculinity between a, a man and a woman? It don't make no sense. I had a chick hit me up with that. I'm an alpha female and you're an alpha male. And, you know, I'll reach out to you. First off, I don't even, like, I, I don't walk around saying, oh, I'm an alpha this, I'm an alpha that. It's just how you carry yourself, all right? I'm going to be who I am, right? And this chick want to sit here and portray this image. Any female that wants to portray I'm an independent and I'm powerful and this and we don't got time for that. I don't care. I'm not competing. We're not in the same, like, like what, what are you talking about? We two different roles. We two different roles here. You supposed to hit corner threes and you out here trying to have a starting point guard position. All right. That's not what I got you over here for. That's not why I'm talking to you. Don't try to overstep your boundaries. That's what they're going to end up doing to you guys. So, you know, you might have fun with them. You might enjoy your time, right? But just keep it at enjoying your time. Right, keep it at enjoying your time because a lot of these women got a lot of problems. That's when you check their medicine cabinet, right? That's when you check their past. They got all these traumatic experiences. Anytime a chick has had a counselor, she keeps a diary, a, a track log of all the emotional events she's had in her past. Guys, I'm telling you, if you ain't avoiding them and you trying to have some, this is for the guys that want to have their fun. I've talked about avoiding all the time, but some of y'all is just going to see the trap and it look real attractive. You're going to be like, Whatever, I'm going to try it anyway. For you guys out there that's like that, I'm telling you, if it look good, it smell good, on the inside it still could be rotten. So here's the thing. You have your fun, but know when to toss them to the side of the road. You have to know that because y'all going to sit around here, right? Be with a chick that sleep with a teddy bear and, and a blankie, from a baby blankie, knowing that she has all these it, it, traumatic Things inside of her, bro. She got traumatic things inside. I'm gonna let y'all know that. Anytime a chick do something like that, or she, you know, no, it's it's tall tale signs, guys. See, this basic energy, guys. Anything, anything. She has a bunch of roommates, right? But they all guys. What? What? I only hang around guys. I don't like women. This just red flags that be just showing up, just showing up. She's super basic, or it's a bunch of red flags, or she too aggressive, and she want to be, you know, masculine as hell. All right, well, you have fun with your career and, and your drive and all that other stuff. I'm not competing with you. I'm here to compete in the bedroom. We can do that, but that's about it. Guys, y'all have y'all fun, but know when to toss them to the road. They start getting on your nerves, right? They start taking your time, your money, your resources, a little too much than you expected. Maybe you get tired of the same routine with this chick, right? Maybe she oversteps her boundaries. 
if any of these, you know, anytime you feel like something that you do or who you are is impeded upon, time for her to go. It's as simple as that. So, guys, like I said before, if you going to have your fun, know when to toss them to the side of the road. Know when to let them go. All right, the curb is over here. That's for you. The streets is over here. That's tatted on you, and it's over here in graffiti. Go back to where you belong.